Bessie Beebe's Bedtime Story. I'm the Doctor. Oh, fancy seeing you here. I see. I've landed on Planet Bedtime Stories. This is my spaceship. No, really, it is. Good girl. See, I love to time travel. If you had a spaceship, where would you go? What world would you travel to? Or who would you meet? This is a story all about a small boy who travels to space and meets a special friend. It's called The Way Back Home, and it's written and illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. Once, there was a boy. And one day, as he was putting his things back in the cupboard, he found an aeroplane. He didn't remember leaving it in there, but he thought he'd take it out for a go right away. The plane lifted off the ground and up into the sky. Higher and higher and higher. Suddenly, the plane spluttered. It had run out of petrol. Now the boy was stuck on the moon. What was he to do? He was all alone and afraid, and soon his torch began to go out. Up in space, someone else was in trouble too. His engine had broken down and steering the ship towards a flicker of light, he landed on the moon with a bump. Both the boy and the Martian could hear noises in the dark, and both feared the worst. But as their eyes got used to the dark, they both realized they'd met someone else in trouble. They weren't alone anymore. The boy showed the Martian his empty petrol tank, and the Martian showed the boy his broken engine. Together, they thought of ways to fix their machines and how to get them both back home. The boy jumped down to Earth to get the things they would need. Right down into the sea. And swam towards home. But by the time he got there, the boy was tired out. So he sat in his favourite chair just to catch his breath. His favourite programme was just starting, and he settled down to watch. Suddenly, he remembered what he should be doing and rushed off to the cupboard to get what he needed. He ran outside and shouted. But there was no reply. He couldn't be heard. The boy climbed to higher ground, called again and waited. This time, a rope was lowered. The boy began to climb and the Martian began to pull. And soon, the boy was back on the moon. The boy fixed up the Martian's engine with the right spanner, and the Martian filled the boy's petrol tank. They said goodbye and thanked each other for their help. <laughs> they wondered if they'd ever meet again. After a long night, they were both finally off the moon. The boy went one way, and the Martian went another. Both on their way back home. What a story! Not only did the boy help the Martian, the Martian helped the boy too! I know another great story about someone who went to space and started to help people. So, there's this big blue box, and it lands in a junkyard. Mm, actually, that's quite a long story. And for once, I don't think we have the time. We'll save it for another bedtime story. I will see you very soon. Good night.